Melissa Nakavali outside Queen's Park where a couple hundred people have gathered fighting against what they're calling atrocities in Kashmir. Some here telling me they haven't spoken to family members in 14 days. Azadi! 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 Free Kashmir! Free Kashmir! Two weeks of silence and uncertainty for many with family members and loved ones in Kashmir who say they've been left in the dark after India repealed a section of its constitution that granted the region autonomy over its own affairs. I have a lot of extended family who's in Kashmir. I have not been able to contact my grandparents who are there. They're, old, they're two old folks. They have severe health problems. They always need medicine. They need access to doctors. Communication clampdowns have been enforced for over two weeks now, leaving many, including Zagar, worried about the condition of her family. I don't know anything about what they're doing. If, if they are um, being approached by military officials, my grandparents are old. They can't run. They have nowhere to go. So if they fall, the who's going to help United them? Will... That fear for their safety is what inspired her and her family to attend this rally, one of a number of rallies taking place across the country. While talking about her family back home, she chooses not to identify them out of fear they could be targeted for speaking out. I love my family dearly, and by me speaking up here, by anybody speaking up, they are basically, you're kind of putting them at risk, you know what I mean? So, um, I, that's one of the reasons I would refrain from providing a photo. Yesterday in Kashmir, restriction on the movement of people have eased and access is slowly being granted to some landlines. But there is still a blackout over internet and cell phone services and security forces continue to be deployed in neighborhoods. Here at home, Kashmiri Canadians and their allies are pushing for more to be done. Many here urging the Canadian government to step in. We're not going to stay quiet. The world needs to speak up. Uh, Canadian government needs to speak up. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau needs to speak up. All of these issues need to be addressed. Someone needs to make a statement in support of Kashmiris who are suffering. Statistics Canada estimates there's more than 3,000 Canadians who identify as being of Kashmiri descent, a large number of whom reside in the GTA. Foreign Minister Christia Freeland said in a statement earlier this week that the government was keeping an eye on the conditions in the region. Another rally is scheduled to take place tomorrow at Nathan Phillips Square, where I'm told an India Independence Day celebration will be taking place.